day. It is Professor Parker with you today for today's science lesson, um, one that should be really, really interesting. We're, of course, going to see what happens with, um, with our egg experiment, so looking forward to seeing that. We have first, however, got to do our learning recap. So, hopefully in front of you, you can see the quiz there. Um, for those of you with the sheet printed, it's at the top. Otherwise, could you please pop the numbers? One, two, three, four, five. Um, tooth decay can cause holes which are known as cavities. The outer layer of teeth is called enamel. That's going to be a really important word today. Uh, which teeth are used for grinding and chewing food? That is molars. Um, sound cannot travel through a vacuum or outer space, which is an example of a vacuum, which means something where there are no air particles. And a concave mirror is a mirror which bends inwards. I always like to think of a cave. Uh, it goes into the mountain like that. Um, so concave bends inwards. So, on to today's learning. And last week, we put three eggs, which represented our teeth, into three different liquids. Water, energy drink, and vinegar. And we wanted to see what effect sugar and acid had on our teeth. And of course, we weren't using our actual teeth, but we used eggs instead, hard-boiled eggs, which have similar chemical compounds and a chemical makeup to uh, our teeth. So we are going to examine what's happened to them now. If you have the sheet printed, you will um, have a table that looks like this. So you don't need to do anything there. If you don't have um, the sheet printed, no problem at all. If you could just draw a table in your book that looks like this. So we have a, a liquid and then water, energy drink, vinegar. Make sure you've given yourself a few lines here just to write down some uh, information. Color of egg feel of egg and effect when brushed, because I've got my trusty toothbrush over here. So if you can draw that table, please, and resume when you are ready. So hopefully that's given you a chance to draw that table. Now, let's have a look at these eggs. So which one should we take out first? Well, we'll go for water as at the top, and this is the first time I'm seeing them as well. So I'm gonna remove it from it's a lovely liquid. Okay, so there are various things we need to look at. I'm just drying it on the paper initially. You can see that actually the color of the egg hasn't changed at all, and that's probably what we would have assumed that would have happened. So the color of the egg is exactly the same as it was. It's plain white. How does it feel? Apart from feeling a bit wet because it's been in water, actually, completely solid. Um, seems uh, completely normal. Uh, feels like a normal hard-boiled egg. So now I'm going to brush it, and we're going to see what happens there. Interesting. So you can see, I'll turn it around, the egg is still completely solid, and it has very little effect when it's been brushed. So I'm going to pop that in there and definitely wipe off my hands as that egg has been sitting around for a little bit of time. It's been sitting around for the week. So I'm just going to clean my hands. Let's go over to our results table over there. And let's fill this in. So water, what is the color of the egg? The egg stayed white. The feel of the egg, still hard. And effect when brush, um, none really, or very, very little. Um, I'm actually going to put none because it didn't, it didn't do anything at all. It was just rub, 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 um, rubbing up against it. So none. This is probably as we could expect. Why do you reckon the water had very little effect, if any, on the egg? So the reason for that, I would say, is because there's no sugar or no acid in it. And we know we know that when um, you eat, um, when you eat, bacteria will come and produce acid, and it will produce more acid the more acidic or sugary the food is. 
This is why it's really important that we're not constantly eating throughout the day. Because as soon as you eat, more bacteria comes and produces more acid. So the more often you eat, the worse, um, the more damage that's going to be done to your teeth. Another really important lesson as well is that after we've eaten, sometimes you might think it's a good idea to go and brush your teeth straight away. In fact, complete opposite is true. You want to make sure you've waited at least half an hour before going to brush your teeth. Because otherwise what you're doing is basically just brushing the acid back into your teeth. So make sure that you only brush your teeth about half an hour after you have uh, eaten and not too much longer. So half an hour is kind of the sweet spot. Right, on to the next egg. Oh, don't need to change it around actually. So we're going to go for the energy drink next. So I've got my brush back. I'm going to grab a new bit of paper as well so I can wipe my hands with that. Let's remove the energy drink. I wonder what's going to have happened. As I said, this is the first time I'm seeing it as well. So there we have it. I mean, we can see already a bit of discoloration. I'm just going to dry it a little bit. And so it's turned brown and you can see that the outer layer of the egg, which is similar to our enamel, say that after me, enamel. So the outer layer that protects the egg has actually gone through. There's now a white bit showing. So the, um, the energy drink has actually rotted through certain parts of it. And there's another little bit at the bottom there that you might be able to see. In terms of how it feels, it's almost like a rubber ball. It's sort of gone very bouncy. It's able to bounce on the table, if you can see that. So it's gone very firm, actually. Um, and let's see what the effect is when I brush it. Oh, now this is interesting. So when I'm brushing it, you can see, I'm sorry that if it's not really, really clear, you can see that the outer layer is actually coming off on the end of my toothbrush and it's, and it's actually taken off that layer there. Do you see that? Really, really interesting. So let's go back to our table. I'm going to dry my hands again and move that egg away. And maybe this one is clearer to see. So you can see that it's, we've actually been able to brush away that outside layer. So color of the egg, it's a light brown. You can fill this in with me. Pause at any time if you'd like. Um, feel of the egg, I'm going to say it's rubbery. It's honestly, it's really like a, a bouncy ball. An effect when brushed, outer layer removed. So pause that and then fill in those uh, sections of your table. And then onto the one we have all been looking forward to. This is the vinegar one. So I'm going to take that from over here. And I'll just switch the camera around so you'll be able to see it. Oh my word. Just feeling this, it is incredibly soft incredibly soft and we can see it has gone completely brown big old spots where the uh the enamel uh, the enamel of our tooth or the egg has come off that protective layer and it feels so so soft i feel like i could almost just just tear it apart with no problem at all so now let's look at the effect when brushed oh it's actually falling apart you can see that i'm just brushing a hole into it and the whole big chunks have come off and you can just see how soft that egg has now been and there's even brown along the inside of it as well it's rotted all the way through or decayed our egg completely so look at the end of our toothbrush it's taken off all of that i'm not going to be using that at home so i'm going to move all of that disgusting stuff to one side sanitize my hands for sure there we go Right, so the last one, the color of the egg is a dark brown. Feel of the egg, very soft. Um, and the effect when brushed, I mean, it's more than the outer leg being removed. It sort of um, chunks, chunks of egg removed. So if you can please fill in the rest of that table, pause the video now.
Excellent. So let's have an evaluation. So we're going to look at the experiment and see what we have learned from our results table over here. So we're going to fill in this sentence. From my results, I can see the egg in the something, whichever liquid we think it is, has changed the most, and the egg in the something has changed the least. And then we're going to say this is because. So let's flip back to my camera. I'm being very, very organized. I've printed an example so that we can fill this in together. So under evaluation, from my results, I can see that the egg in the, now which one do we think has changed the most from that results table? I think really in terms of color, feel, and the effect when brushed, it's got to be the vinegar. The egg in the vinegar changed the most. And the egg in the, and which egg do we think has changed the least? Again, definitely the water, I think. The egg in the water has changed the least. This is because Now, why do we think that is? Why do we think the vinegar changed it the most? What does it have in it? So, the reason for this is that our, our mouth, we want to keep not acid or alkaline, sort of in the middle. And if you imagine, every time we eat, it becomes more and more acidic. And it takes a bit of time for our mouth to kind of balance it out. So the more sugary and the more acidic foods that we eat, the more acid our teeth become, the lower um, it comes on this line, and therefore, the more that bacteria produces our teeth to rot, the more plaque, the more decay, and eventually, a long way down the line, more cavities it produces. So, this is because the acid in the vinegar causes teeth to, and using one of the key words in here, decay. Okay. So for my, from my results, I can see that the egg in the vinegar changed the most and the egg in the water has changed the least. This is because the acid in the vinegar causes teeth to decay. Um, and I could have even actually put, using one of the keywords as well, causes the enamel to decay um, or breaks down the enamel and causes the teeth to decay. So you have this um, to fill in here. So insert the two there, which is probably going to be the same as me, vinegar and then the water. Um, and then uh, can you write a this is because sentence using vinegar, acid, water, decay, energy drink, enamel and teeth. So I'm going to leave my sentence over here. So pause the video if you want to look at that. Of course, I'm making sure it's a bit different to mine. And then if you're struggling to see that, I'll put that up here as well. Okay. So off you go. Right. So hopefully you've had a chance to write down your evaluation. So looking after our teeth, as we've seen in this experiment, is important. And protecting them from acid and sugar is very important. So taking care of our teeth prevents decay and cavities. So what do you think you can do to prevent tooth decay? And there are some examples, some picture hints here. So pause the video now. Think about what you can do to take care of your teeth. So we can see here we've got toothpaste, tooth brushing, trips to the dentist or the hygienist, and also um, flossing your teeth as well. As well as that, uh, eating the right kind of foods, so not too many sugary ones. The more acidic and more sugary the food, the more that it's going to uh, break down our enamel and then to cause our teeth to decay. So why do we need to brush our teeth? 
As I said, really important that we wait about half an hour before brushing our teeth after eating. And brushing removes food and plaque from our teeth. It means we can get really into those, uh, the gaps in the teeth, which is why flossing is really useful as well. So the things that stain teeth, cause them to go that brownie color, that yellow color that we do not want, is things like coffee, uh, sugary drinks, cigarette smoke. Cigarette smoking is incredibly bad for your teeth, amongst other things. Alcohol, which is very acidic juices and colored foods. Those are the ones that really cause our teeth to get stained and turn that yellowy browny uh, color. And brushing our teeth keeps your teeth and gums healthy. So brushing is really, really important because it removes that plaque from your teeth. And why is it that toothpaste is so effective? Why don't we just use a dry brush? Well, toothpaste has an ingredient called fluoride in it. So repeat that after me, fluoride. Brilliant, so fluoride, um, makes our enamel, which is, the, remember, the hard surface around the tooth, stronger. So we need fluoride to make the uh, enamel strong. So fluoride is enamel's best friend. Acid is, enam is uh, enamel's worst enemy. So we can see enamel is the tough, shiny bit around the outside of the tooth. And it protects the inside bits, like dentin, which is the bone and is hard, and the pulp which is where the nerves, endings, and blood vessels are found, this pink layer here. So we definitely want to protect that. So final bit I'd like you to do. We are going to write a short sentence explaining why brushing is an effective way of keeping our teeth healthy. So again, I've got this printed out. So under the subheading, why brushing is important. Brushing. is an effective way of keeping your teeth healthy because, and I'm going to have a look at the keywords here, toothpaste, enamel, hard fluoride, plaque, and protect. I want to use at least few of those, particularly enamel is really important and also fluoride I'd like to use. Remind me, what is fluoride again? Ah, yes, it's that, it's the stuff in toothpaste that helps make our enamel strong. So brushing is an effective way of keeping your teeth healthy because toothpaste contains Fluoride, make sure we spell that correctly, which helps, which helps to strengthen, oops, sorry, I can see you can't see that, strengthen our Enamel. Remind me, what's enamel again? What's enamel? Yes, it's the outer layer that protects the rest of our teeth. So, um, which helps to strengthen our enamel. Full stop. Brushing. Because one sentence isn't enough. Brushing also removes layers of plaque that can cause decay and lead to cavities. Normally, I wouldn't recommend going onto this bottom line here. The only reason is I want to make sure it's on one page so that you guys can see that. So, brushing is an effective way of keeping your teeth healthy because toothpaste contains fluoride, which helps strengthen our enamel. I could have said keeps it hard, but strengthen as well is just as good a word. Um, brushing also removes layers of plaque that can cause decay and lead to cavities. So I've definitely answered the question and I've used some of these keywords here. So again, pause the video if you'd like to have a look at my sentence again.
If not, this will just make it a bit clearer for you to see. So pause the video, finish that sentence, and then resume when you are ready. Right, guys, so there are loads of different toothpastes available to buy, and sometimes it's quite hard to know which one's the best. So when new toothpastes are developed, the existing recipes are changed, um, and they need to be tested before manufacturing and production. Um, so new toothpastes are always being developed so that we can, um, we can work to make our teeth really, really healthy, to keep that enamel hard and strong, um, and to make sure that we maintain really healthy teeth. So that is pretty much that for me. I'm going to give you a quick quiz first on the key vocabulary that we've learnt over the last key uh, over the last few lessons. So, what is the name of the hard outer layer of our teeth that we want to protect? Hold it in your head. Three, two, one. Enamel. Hopefully, you've got excellent. So when we eat um, food, bacteria causes a sticky layer around our teeth. What can, what is that called? Hold it in your head. That sticky layer. Three, two, one. Plaque. Of course it's plaque. Um, if plaque is left there, it can cause our teeth to rot. But what's the most scientific word for teeth rotting? What's that called? Three, two, one. Decay, of course, decay. And if we leave our, te that de our teeth to decay for too long, it can cause those horrible holes in the teeth. What are those holes called? Three, two, one. Cavities, of course. And final one, what is the ingredient in toothpaste that keeps our teeth uh, really nice and healthy, keeps that enamel strong? Three, two, one. Fluoride. Fluoride. Very good. Well, guys, that is all from me. I hope you enjoyed that experiment. I definitely need to wash these hands again um, after all of that disgusting egg mixture. Um, thank you so much from me, Professor Parker. And um, I will see you next time. Have a lovely Friday. Have a lovely rest. Uh, have a lovely weekend as well. Okay, guys. Bye bye.